Hey guys, Majeffries here and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, in the last episode we sent old Bill Kerman out once again to basically just fly around a little bit and land. We very nearly achieved orbit. My The, the problem with that was uh, I didn't actually try to achieve orbit. We ended up reaching an apoapsis of 150,000 meters which is 50,000 meters more than we needed to actually achieve orbit. We did however run out of fuel but that's not a problem. We can easily put more fuel in the tank and try again with another test craft. Something else I'm going to look at is the space plane hangar because actually I haven't looked here at all as to what we can build. Um, and I'm guessing one of the reasons I've done that is because there's nothing to build. So we'll scrap that idea completely. We'll go into the vehicle assembly building. Um, vehicle assembly building, here we go. Right, something I'm going to do, let's load up test craft 1 again. I'm going to make a couple of tweaks. Obviously we've got the solid rocket booster there and it all works and everything's fantastic. We're going to add some more fuel on here first. So let's do that. Uh, which fuel tank am I going to use? That's a small one. That's a big one. That's a really big one. We'll put a really big one on. And actually, in doing that, we can get rid of this. How much are these little ones? 90. These are 180. So if we get rid of that one and we get rid of that one. And then I think we can stick one more on, you know. Like so. And that gives us a ton more fuel. And I reckon with this craft we can reach a stable orbit. Uh, just going to check that there's no damage there. We're going to have to launch this craft quickly so that it doesn't topple over. Because that will spell the end of, of uh, Bill. He'll end up joining Jebediah. May he rest in peace. Uh, we're going to attach a gooey thing. Let's put it there. And we're also going to attach some radial parachutes. Um, yeah, let's put them there. And then as that detaches, the parachutes will open. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. So, we're going to rename this Testcraft 4. We're going to save it. And we're going to launch it. And we're going to see how well it does. Like I said, this could end in disaster. I'm going to try and launch it as quick as physically possible. And then we're going to try and get into orbit. So quick as a flash. Three, two, one. Up. Lock it. Stop it from toppling. It doesn't help that the uh, goo tank is on this, this side. And this mission alone should get us the science we need to get the battery packs and start being a heck of a lot more ambitious with our missions um, and if they're not I won't be very happy but they should be so it's fine right so with this that's the end of that tank uh, and we need to start drifting this into which way am I going this way no not that way that way there we go and lock it and take it off again move it over uh, which way am I moving it? this way to there and move it over a tiny bit more and lock it oh, need to move it a long way over now right, this one I'd like to try and get into orbit I can't see it happening, if I'm honest with you guys, for many a reason, but it hurts no one to try, does it? So we'll keep moving that to there, and we'll lock it again. Now you can see, it looks like we're heading towards the ground, but actually, once this settles, you'll see, if we check the apoapsis, is it still increasing? It's not still increasing, okay. Uh, that's not gone well. What am I doing? 
pulling the nose up. That's pushing it down. Small technical hitch. Uh, I've got to stop pressing T. That's the wrong way. That's not good. That's not good. Might have to abort this. I'm getting ready to fire the boosters off just in case. We're not going to lose Bill. He is not going the same way as Jebediah. I will save this. Maximum thrust. Uh, I'm going to start transmitting data now. Do a quick crew report. Alright, electric charge is reloading. Uh, we are going back up, but it's not going to last for very long. Gives us a chance to test these radial parachute mods, though. Not, you know what I mean. Have a look and see if they work. That's annoying. I was following the yellow circle and it was pointing us back towards the planet. You all saw it. It was nothing to do with me. Right. We are running out of fuel. We have run out of fuel. Let's just have a quick look at where our apoapsis is. 18,000. This is quite a disappointing mission. Um, not really sure what happened. Maybe it's just because the solid boosters ran out and I had nothing to jettison them with. Alright, so we'll turn off that. Try and get this pointing as straight as possible. Although we've got nothing to actually do it with, so I'm going to jettison. There's the radial parachutes doing their job. Uh, hopefully they uh, bring that back down gently. That's not looking very good. It's swinging around quite a lot. Yeah, that's, that that should be fine. Um, in the meantime, we're going to re-enter the atmosphere again. That's quite... Is that lifting? Or am I making that up? That's definitely... Maybe we're just falling faster because we haven't deployed our chute yet. Once we've broken through the atmosphere, I'll do that. Definitely getting further and further away. And yet, our surface velocity is, is slowing. I wonder if I do that. Oh, it just does that. Um, I think we've already come through the atmosphere, actually. We may, might not have even left the atmosphere. So, I'll deploy the chute now, because I'm not taking any chances. Uh, it should be doing its job. Yeah, it's slowing us down rapidly now. Uh... That's 1.7k away. And... Do you know what? I think we'll wait for that to come back to the ground. If we can. That's showing no signs of catching up with us. So the parachutes there must be doing a very similar job to the one that we've got. Don't really know what to make of that. That's, I'm guessing that's a good thing. Uh, it looks like we're going to land on land as well, which is good which means we might actually be able to do some more transmission. Oh, there it goes. It's coming down pretty fast now. That might be because the main chutes haven't deployed fully yet. There they go. Ha! <laughs> I would say, I would say, let's see if we can walk all the way over. But it's 1.4k, and I don't think we're going to make it in this next 24 hours, never mind in this video. So, uh... We'll just assume that the debris made it down safely. Um, and then we'll go back to the space centre and we'll recover it in the usual manner. In the meantime, we are slowly but surely approaching the surface. Slowly, slowly, slowly. We should have enough juice to do a transmission. So, providing this lands right side up, we should hop out, take a surface sample and maybe a crew report, hop back in and transmit the data back to base. Uh, and then that should give us a ton of science. We should be able to get the battery packs. Uh, we'll build a new vessel from scratch to get
get into orbit and we should be able to do some proper science experiments, get some proper data and start unlocking the next packs. Good. Please land safe. Yeah. That's really... Yes. Uh, let's go on an EVA then. Come on in, Bill. Oh, let's let go first. There we go. Let's go for a little toddle over here. That's definitely too far away. Oh, that's not the right one. Where's the... There it is. 1.3k away. And it's below us. Right, there he is. Uh, we'll take... Oh, mm, let's plant another flag. Does it come up with an option to name? There we go. Right. Test site 2. We didn't crash. I still can't spell. Sorry, it's my keyboard. It gets a bit sticky sometimes. There we go. We didn't crash. Uh, while we're here, we'll take a surface sample. Keep. We'll do an EVA report. Keep. And then we'll toddle back over to the craft. God, he takes forever, doesn't he? Come on, Bill. I know you're wearing a suit, but still. Uh, press F. F again. Extend this. We'll review the data. Transmit. Transmit again. No? Uh, we'll do one more crew report if it lets us. Ah, uh, not enough electric charge. Are we fully out now? No, we're down to six. That's not bad. Okay. I'd say that was a job well done. Well done, Bill. Might have to retire Bill early, just so he doesn't end up dead like Jebediah. Because he's done a really good job for us. He's helped us in the name of science. Uh, I'm going to kill the throttle. It should do that, really, when you jettison the engine. Because you're obviously not throttling up when you haven't got an engine anymore. I don't know why it keeps it on. Anyway, that's just me gassing. Uh, we're going to go back to this tracking station. We're going to recover Bill and hopefully an intact... Testcraft 4. There's the science we needed. We're up to 45. And we might as well recover this as well. I know we had it named and things like that, but we weren't really going to use it. Uh, and the last thing we'll do in this episode is research the next level of tech and see what the next one after that is. So it's this one, isn't it? With the battery pack, the science, and there we go. And a ton of stuff comes out. So we've got some rechargeable battery packs, some solar panels, uh, we can have a ladder and a thermometer and we can also have micro landing struts and a small gear bay which is good. Um, I'm guessing the next one we should do is one of these ones. Having the winglets would be really handy for takeoff so we might go for this one and it also comes with that, whatever that is. Uh, little pod there that we can just put one curb in, in I think it's SAS equipped as well we don't need th that wing and although the radial decouplers might be handy for uh, putting solid rocket boosters on we don't need the the nose cone or the wing and this one it doesn't really come with it comes with a bigger engine I suppose but that's about it so anyway I think that's us done for this episode guys so time for the end of video spiel Thank you very much guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the button below. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you for your continued support. And until next time guys, I will see you soon.